Now's not the time. <laughs> oh, integrity is 20%. No. Shield is zero. It's really not going well, guys. It looks like this is the end for us. The red shirt just died. <laughs> Welcome back to GeForce. I'm Julian. You join us at Ubisoft's office in San Francisco where we've been playing Star Trek Bridge Crew. We were given a plus one for the day and we couldn't think of anybody better to bring along than Shannon Morse. She builds PCs. She's a huge Trekkie. She works for Hack 5 and Tech Thing and she's been getting her first taste of Bridge Crew. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. One of the things that I always imagined since I was a little girl was being able to actually be on the bridge. And since this is virtual reality, you actually get to experience it like you're actually there. So you've been playing the game a little bit, you got a taste of all the different positions, what did you enjoy? Um, so I got to play Captain, Helm, and Tactical. I really enjoyed Helm just because it was fun to be able to steer the ship around and be able to speed up and slow down and do warp. Like, who doesn't want to do that once in their life? Tactical was definitely my favorite. I just really enjoyed how you have to do multiple things at one time. You have to make sure that your shields are up or put your shields down and scan different things. You have to be able to transport people over to your ship. So it required a whole bunch of finesse. Uh, Captain, I was terrible at. <laughs> We survived with 7% hull integrity. We made it out. I feel like I should have trained. See, I'm jealous of you because you got to train as captain. I thought you did much better. What did you think of it? I had some minimal training. This is my first time getting to play captain, and it's fun, but it's like juggling, man. You're trying to keep balls in the air all the time and keep people on their tasks, and you really have to be well-versed with what all the other crew members can do. Focus on the first target. Uh-oh, oh. sparks are flying. Especially when like the whole bridge is just exploding and falling apart and like sparks are flying at you out of the control panel. That startled me. Ah! <laughs> like my thing would spark up and we got hit with a torpedo and I was like, oh God, what's happening? We got to do both the Aegis, the new ship that they've created just for this game. And also we got to tool around on the Starship Enterprise itself. What was that like for you? So awesome. So it was actually a lot smaller than I had imagined because when you watch the TV show, it seems so much bigger when you're seeing it just on your television screen. But when you're inside of it, you look around and you're like, wow, I can only step a few steps over to the edge of the, the bridge. But when you are on the Aegis, for example, it's much larger. That bridge is a lot larger. Kind of makes sense since the original series would have a smaller one and then they would probably upgrade throughout the years and get a much bigger ship. Right, like the budget increases of the, of the Federation. Not, not anything else. So the inside of the ship was smaller than you thought, but I mean, on the outside, the game was a lot bigger than I expected because today I learned that they actually had a feature where you can just keep playing missions that are quasi-randomized. That's awesome for me because I can really imagine myself like getting a team of friends together and playing this over and over again, like every Friday night do a Star Trek night or something like that and have people over, you know. You're a huge nerd. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I do on Friday nights. <laughs> But we could continue on the story together. Well, it was a lot of fun having you on the crew and serving under you as captain. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you guys for tuning in to GeForce. Hope you enjoyed our tour of Star Trek Bridge Crew, and we will see you all next time. Is she okay?